Welcome back to The Hunger Project. Lower elementary, last week you were tasked with finding some strategies that have been used to fight hunger across the globe, in your community, it didn't matter. So some larger scale ways that have been implemented to fight hunger, as always, maybe in both ways, would be government intervention. So governments can intervene within their own countries. Governments can intervene from country to country. So maybe one government can offer credit to another country in favor of giving them um, access to food or access to ways to find food um, or maybe developing a um, sustainable industry like farming. Um, you could also look at major sustainable food programs. There are many different sustainable food programs worldwide those kind of programs give countries the opportunity to create um, a type of program so that they can continue to feed themselves and not find themselves in debt to another country. So they give them the groundwork to get going and then it sustains itself. So literally the meaning of sustainable food. Um, and then all across the world, we find ourselves uh, empowering women to do this. So remember last week, I told you that there is a direct correlation um, between gender inequality and hunger. So um, a lot more women find themselves experiencing hunger, women and girls. So empowering women movements um, are also used to fight hunger. Then maybe on a more local scale, um, in your neighborhood, you might see things like urban farming. So urban um, areas experience hunger a lot more than other areas. So finding a way to give those that live in urban areas like cities a way to find food for themselves or you know get their own food is one way that they are fighting hunger and educational opportunities so giving people the opportunity to go out and find different ways to shop find different recipes find different w places that they can go um, to get food uh, for themselves whether it's through shopping or finding a place that um, does food like a food pantry or anything like that are ways that you can access and take advantage of educational opportunities. So next we are going to go over the part two portion of the lower elementary project. So your next task was to find a place in your community that helps fight hunger. One example out of many, so this is probably one of the most common examples, is the soup kitchen in Wheeling. Um, here on their photos page, you see some photos of the inside and outside of the soup kitchen, um, some people working in the soup kitchen, all of that. Um, you could have used any of these photos. You could, um, I know several people that volunteer at the soup kitchen, so maybe you're one of those people. You could have used a photo of yourself uh, volunteering in the soup kitchen, and then you needed to describe some of the things that they do to help, whatever that may be, um, how they fight hunger. So just by clicking the um, the events tab. They have all these different things that they do throughout the year and you could have used that to describe what they do to help fight hunger in the community or if you've ever participated in anything that they do, you could have used that information as well. Your final task was to watch the share wagon video. In this video, there was a little boy who recognized that he had a friend in need. He didn't understand how somebody could possibly be going hungry. So he wanted to be able to reach out and help this friend. So he met with his mom and he and his mom were able to organize an entire event to be able to help his friend and his family. So what I wanted you to do was to think of a time when you recognized someone in need. I wanted you to be able to record a video and if you were unable to record a video, you could have just given me your plan on a Google slide and give me what your plan was in detail on how you would be able to help this person that you saw in need.